Hi, my name is Robin Wong and in this video I want to talk about the Olympus Anti-Shock 0 second setting in your OMD cameras. Let's do this! In case you have not noticed, I'm not trapped in my tiny little balcony anymore. The lockdown situation in Malaysia has improved. The government has eased the movement restrictions on its people. I am now free to go out and move about. There is only so much that I can do being trapped in that tiny little balcony for the past three months. I've done everything I possibly can with my Olympus camera, being stuck at home. I've shot the lightning, I've shot the rainbow, I played with my toys, but there were so many important features in the camera that I find it very challenging and difficult to demonstrate effectively without being able to go out and shoot. Now I'm free. The first thing I did, of course, I got a haircut. I hope you like this new look. And I have so many plans, so many ideas, so many things I want to do with my Olympus camera, and I cannot wait to do them and share everything with you guys in this channel channel. So let's get started. Coming back to the main topic of this video, anti-shock setting. This video is a continuation from another video that I've done last week. It was on the Olympus electronic shutter. If you have not watched that video, please do so. I'll leave a link up here. The reason was simple is because I will be talking about electronic shutter and mechanical shutter. Both I've already explained in that particular video. And the anti-shock setting itself is a hybrid between electronic and mechanical shutter. The Olympus Anti-Shock was created for one singular purpose only, to mitigate shutter shock. Therefore, before I can explain how Anti-Shock works, we need to understand what shutter shock is. Shutter shock is a vibration that is induced by the movement of physical mechanical shutter. Every time we press the shutter button, the camera shutter opens and closes. This will create slight vibration that can cause a little bit of softness in the final image that is captured. Shutter shock is a common problem for all cameras that has a moving physical mechanical shutter. However, when Olympus went mirrorless, when they moved on to micro four thirds, they have downsized their cameras and the cameras become lighter. Because of the much lighter camera, this was not sufficient to dampen the shutter vibration. Therefore, shutter shock has become more of an issue for earlier Olympus cameras in the micro four thirds system. The first person to publicly report about shutter shock problem in an Olympus camera was Ming Tian. Ming Tian is a fellow Malaysian photographer and a great friend. Ming Tian told me that he's discovered at certain shutter speeds, especially at 1 over 180th of a second, he noticed his EM1 suffers softness and double image. Therefore, I took his report and brought it to Olympus Japan. It took the R&D a few months to come up with a solution. It was a firmware upgrade to EM1, which will enable first curtain electronic shutter or zero second anti-shock. This zero second anti-shock effectively mitigates any shutter vibration issue. Ming Tian praises Olympus for the quick action and a highly innovative solution to the shutter shock problem. I want to clarify that the anti-shock was not a new setting introduced in the EM1 via firmware upgrade. What was newly introduced was zero second anti-shock and it is very important to know the difference. The Olympus anti-shock was already available in all the Olympus cameras, even in the old DSLRs such as the E520 or E3. The older anti-shock setting simply refers to the delay between the first curtain an opening shutter and the capture of this image. The delay is important to allow for any shutter vibration to diminish before the image is being captured. This effectively gets rid of any shutter shock. 
This proves that the camera manufacturers already know the existence of the problem shutter shock and the workaround of anti-shock of the shutter delay was a viable solution. However, because there is that slight delay, no matter how slight, it can be problematic for photographers that shoot fast action or they need instant response from the camera. For example, myself shooting wedding photography, I need to shoot certain things instantaneously. I need the camera to react reflexively. That short delay is enough to cause me to miss my shots. Therefore, Olympus introduced the electronic first curtain shutter or zero second delay anti-shock which was a game changer and they were the first in the industry to implement this. So what exactly is zero second anti-shock setting? It is first curtain electronic shutter. It is a hybrid between mechanical and electronic shutter. When we refer to full mechanical shutter, there is physical mechanical camera shutter that opens and closes. When we talk about full electronic shutter, there is no movement, no physical mechanical part that's moving in the camera. What's involved is just the image sensor that is being turned on and off. Now this zero second anti-shock is a combination of both. The shutter opens electronically and the shutter closes mechanically. That's right, the first curtain is electronic, the second curtain is mechanical. Because the shutter opens electronically, there is no physical movement at all, there is zero chance of shutter shock. And as the image is already being captured, the shutter is being closed mechanically and even if there is any vibration it doesn't matter, the image is already captured. I think this is a very creative and effective solution to get rid of any shutter shock and yet there's zero delay that is involved in capturing the image. To find the anti-shot setting for most cameras, you can activate it from the super control panel directly. Just press OK and go to the drive mode here go in, you can see the diamond sign it shows anti-shock. Once you have activated this, you have the anti-shock setting. However, if it is not in your super control panel, then you have to dive deep into the menu. The menu may be different in different Olympus cameras, but I'll show where I can find these settings in this EM1 Mark II. Now for EM1 Mark II, you have to go to camera menu number two, then you can see the anti-shock silent setting here. Once you go in, you go to anti-shock, which is the first item. Make sure it is zero second. As I mentioned earlier, you can set this to delay for more than zero seconds. It can go all the way up to 30 seconds. You can go as slow as half a second or one eighth of a second, but I highly recommend you use a zero second because this is the electronic first curtain shutter. Now, once you have activated this, and if you have already okayed this particular setting, once you go out from here, if you press OK to activate the super control panel, it should be available in your drive mode. If you are using Olympus EM5 Mark III, the anti-shot setting is hidden from you. I don't know why Olympus does it. To activate it in your EM5 Mark III specifically, go to menu, under the gear icon, go to D1. Once you're inside D1, you will see come down to um, this burst or the timer settings. Here you go in and make sure that the diamond shape, the first one, the diamond shape, which is anti-shock, is being checked. If this is being checked, then you will have the anti-shock setting. This is for EM5 Mark III specifically. I am very sure some of you will ask, hey Robin, why can't I just use the silent shutter? Since it's electronic shutter, there is no physical mechanical moving parts involved, hence there is no vibration. Yes and no. If you've watched my previous video on Olympus electronic shutter, you realize that by using the silent shutter, it comes with its own set of problems. You suffer bending in artificial light, you get more high ISO noise if you shoot in low light situations, and if your subject moves extremely fast, 
you get the jello or rolling shutter distortion. None of these problems will exist if you use the zero second anti-shock or the first curtain electronic shutter. Then can I use the anti-shock setting all the time? Yes, you can. I've been using the zero second anti-shock for all my shoots for the past five years using the Olympus EM1 and the EM1 Mark II and I have no problems whatsoever. Before I wrap this up, I just want to quickly comment that Olympus has made improvements in the shutter mechanisms in their newer cameras. I've reviewed the latest cameras, the EM1 Mark III and the EM5 Mark III, and in both cameras, I was shooting mostly with mechanical shutter just to see if there's any problems of shutter shock or shutter vibration. I'm happy to report that I did not see any issues at all, and trust me, I scrutinized and pixel pit every single image that I took with those cameras. I think that the anti-shot setting may not necessarily be something that we need these days, but hey, if you do see any problems of softness in your image and you think something is off, the anti-shot solution is there and it is foolproof. That's all I have to share about the Olympus zero second anti-shot setting. I hope you appreciate the history and where the Olympus first curtain electronic shutter came about and how it is being implemented and why it is important in your photography. If you found this sharing useful, please buy me a cup of coffee or you can give me a small contribution to my PayPal account. I'll put the links in the descriptions below. Any small contribution can go a long way. My only promise in return for you is to continue to produce similar content and being published here in this channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so. And I will definitely see you again in the next video. Until then, please take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.